Hey gang, I was talking to a buddy of mine uh, about this airline charger uh, made for Montgomery Wards. It's a 6 to 8 volt, 200 amp, or 30 amp, uh, 200 watt battery charger. It's a portable battery charger. It's got the handle um, for taking out into the field. The neat thing about it is it's got an itty bitty teeny tiny little motor. And if you look down here, the valve tappets are exposed. The valves aren't, but the valve tappets are exposed, which is kind of cool. So when it runs over, um, the uh, you can watch the tappets moving up and down. You can see the flywheel back in there. Uh, but this can either be rope, stu rope started using the cup here. It's got a little groove for you to put your rope in, yank it around and rope start. Or, for the most most times, your your motor is not going to start on your big tractor because your battery's down. But it's not down so much that this won't start it because it has such a tiny motor. So you can hook this up and still start your motor, start this motor, and then um, when the you can hear it when it does it when the amp meter gives a little jump. You'll hear the regulator kicking over after it warms up, and that's telling you, okay, you can, well, you're going to leave it hooked up to the battery because you're going to be charging it. But uh, to carry this around as a standalone, you can take your, uh, you can take it off. But I'm going to wire this just a little bit differently so that you can see that I can pull the battery completely off. Let me back this out to here. Let me switch these around so I can get this on that. And we'll put this one. Oh, sorry, I don't even know if any of that was in there. All I'm doing is just moving the wires around a little bit so that uh, I can show that I can use this as a standalone power source and move it from one piece of implement uh, to the other and it still runs on its own, produces its own uh, charge uh, for the coil. So, but anyway, um, it's got its own start button. There's a start button. We're going to go ahead and start it and see what we got. There. See the voltmeter? Now I'm going to disconnect the battery. You hear it draw down. Now the battery is completely disconnected. As long as I've got my positive lead going to charge my coil, it'll sit there and run all day. You can take it from uh, implement to implement wherever you need the battery power. 200 amp, excuse me, 200 watt, 30 amp. So, here's the kill switch right here. Kind of a noisy little thing. But just a neat little, uh, neat little gadget that I've had laying around for quite a number of years. Matter of fact, I believe since 2008 or nine, so six, seven years, seven, eight years, something like that. Um, and now I could rope start it, and it will still start. Um, but anyway, I pulled it out just because I was talking about it with a friend of mine and. It's been a while since I've ran it, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up, let it run a little while longer, uh, keep the bugs out, and so I can treat the fuel. But anyway, there you go. And believe it or not, that's the carburetor. That's it. That's the entire thing. It works on suction. This is your choke. You just turn that to choke to shut everything off and draw fuel in. And it pulls up, vaporizes the fuel before it ever hits this pipe. And this pipe right here going down into the engine, that's it. That's the entire carburetor, the whole thing. It's a carter. But that's it. It's that simple. This is your meter. How easy and simple. One moving part sands the choke. One moving part to that entire carburetor. Pretty wild, isn't it? Anyway, there you go. Just a little doodad to uh, throw up on the good old interwebs. This is it for later. I'm out.